Peaceful morning, everyone. So, let me share my topic for today. It's a reflection. Reflections on ARM webinar overview and interventions of substance use disorders in children. So, reflection number one. I reflect that it is important to remember that children with substance use disorder or SUD may have a harmful harmful pattern of substance use that negatively affects their lives and causes discomfort. However, the good news is that recovery is possible to us, psychologists, psychotherapists, and mental health professionals. Number two, reflection. I discovered that a substance use disorder, SUD, can seriously harm children's relationships, life satisfaction, and general health. It can potentially pose a threat to one's life. Therefore, they must get treatment as soon as any family members or loved ones become aware of any SUD symptoms. Reflection number three, I learned that effective treatments are available for substance use disorder, but the treatment approach may vary for different individuals. Children may require different types of treatments at different times depending on their circumstances. So, reflection number four, a substance use disorder, SUD, is a chronic condition with the possibility of relapse. Thus, continuing care is essential for effective holistic treatment. Reflection number five, I reflect that play is the language of children with substance use disorder, SUD, and is essential for their growth and development. As a psychologist, I can administer play therapy as an intervention with children with SUD. Reflection number six, I learned that children with SUD often have a co-existing mental health condition and treating them together is generally more effective than treating them separately. Reflection number seven, as psychologist, I found that there are three primary forms of treatment for children with substance use disorder, SUD. These include the toxification, cognitive and behavior therapies, and medication-assisted therapies. I can provide evidence-based psychotherapies to children with SUD that are tailored to their specific needs. Reflection number eight. Based on my observations, there are various types of treatment settings for children with substance use disorder, SUD, seeking help, including outpatient counseling, intensive outpatient treatment, inpatient treatment, and long-term therapeutic communities like sober living communities. Reflection number nine. I reflect that substance use disorder, SUD, is a complicated biopsychosocial disorder. Drugs like alcohol, stimulants, and opioids have an impact on children's brain, which includes their capacity for making decisions. Thus, seeking mental health professionals is needed. And lastly, reflection number 10. As a psychologist, I will team up to a psychiatrist brother, Dr. Jake Lester Pugo Villanueva, to establish an organization that will help children struggling with substance use disorder. That's all for my reflections, and I will give gold necklaces once we reach 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and get your certificate on the link below.